What's up guys? Um, I want to give you an update on the E30 today, namely the interior and the electronics. What's up guys? So today I want to give you an update on the E30, specifically the interior and the electronics. I guess really the electronics. So um, I've been working on this for a while, really over the summer, and I wanted it to be in a more complete state before I gave you an update, but as we all know, these things are never done. So I'm going to show you what it looks like right now. Uh, basically we pulled a lot of the unnecessary stuff out of the inside. We took out the heater core, the AC components out of the engine compartment, a bunch of unnecessary wires, the radio, cigarette lighter, center console, speakers, all of that stuff. Um, then I put in a custom little um, OMP master battery disconnect. Pretty happy with how that turned out. Nice and custom. Uh, then we did a little custom switch panel over here for our lights, brights, and turn signals. Um, the idea was to get everything off the column. I wanted a really simplified column. Didn't want to be kind of messing with things. I wanted to be able to see what was going on at all times just by looking at my switches. But I also wanted it to look fairly stock in a way. Um, obviously it'll never look stock, but factory race car maybe I don't know um, anyway so to do this properly I hired the help of a seasoned professional an older gentleman if you will that wires pro touring cars and all kinds of cars um, I could not film that process didn't want to give away his trade secrets and um, anyway he helped me wire this car so we pulled everything off the column got the light switches over here, turn signals, and then over here we did power, push to start, fan for the radiator. We put a Mishimoto fan in there. Uh, so we put an electric fan. Future will be kill ABS, which will just bypass the, um, the fuse, basically. We'll have a future spot for a radio. We did our wipers, washer, and then the hazards. Uh, down here, we did our instrument lights, windows, a window lock just to bypass that switch, and some dome lights. Now, I'm not really happy with how this dome light came out, so we're going to put some new dome lights in. That'll be the subject of the next video. Um, I also installed some... LED lights in the trunk and engine compartment brighten things up. I think I want to do a little more in the engine compartment, but I'm not sure where to put everything. That's about it. Uh, just been doing some work, keeping things clean. Uh, we put on this beautiful Momo Mod 07 steering wheel that we got from my friends at 9 and 3 wheels. Check them out. Uh, really happy with the product selection and especially their customer service. They helped me pick out the right wheel for this car and the hub adapter, get everything right installed beautifully. Um, I'm really happy with how it came out. Do I keep saying that? But I am. This car is really cool inside. I definitely have more I want to do. It's just saving my dollars, man. It's hard. Um, we want to do a roll cage, but I really want to do seats. Got to find the perfect seats that, again, kind of go for this uh, factory race car look I'm going for. This idea I've got in my head. So I'm not sure what to do. Maybe some, well, we'll figure that out later. Cover that in another video. Uh, we've got the Condor Speed Shop weighted tall shifter. Did some good things. So uh, hope you like how it's coming out. I sure do. And we'll be doing more work. I'll make more videos on this and uh, keep you guys updated. So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll see you soon.